Okay guys, welcome back to another video. I got myself here, and I got Victor. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not our second take at this, but um, we are working on our jet skis again. So Victor is putting in a rectifier, and it's hopefully going to allow his ski to run good. It was getting like limited at a certain RPM, and it wasn't letting him pass. And everybody on the forum was saying rectifier, which we don't understand really why that would cause him to do that. But... um. Maybe they're just trolling us. Gen the geniuses said it, so. Yeah, the geniuses. Internet geniuses. You yep. Know. So we're going to trust them, and we're putting a rectifier in on his. And then over on my ski, I got these big tower speakers that we're going to stick on the side of my jet ski. So that's going to be pretty sweet. So, yeah, we're just going to start working. And um, I got my head unit radio. This can power up the four speakers. If it's not powerful enough, uh, I'm going to get an amplifier. But, yeah. We're going to be installing this in my two tower speakers and seeing how they sound while Victor does his rectifier. So let's get right into this video. So here's my head unit. It's got a little plastic piece on. That's why it looks so weird. But um, it has a pretty deep depth. And I marked a little circle with navy blue Sharpie on navy blue because I was lazy and that's the one I grabbed. And I'm going to dremel that out. And this head unit is going to go in there. And it looks like we're going to have just enough space. And it's not going to hit this the storage trough. So I'm going to start dremeling my hole out and installing my head unit. Because why not? Okay, so there's probably way better ways you could go about doing that. I would have definitely gotten a whole whole saw bit, just drill right through it, but um I did not go to the store after work, so yeah. So we got the head unit right here installed. It looks pretty sweet on the side of the ski right there, if you ask me. And um, all of our wires are just running right through here from the back, so I'm not going to secure this in until I get all my wires run to there, and then I'll place them all in. And, uh, yeah. Okay, so you guys are probably wondering how in the world I'm going to mount these big speakers to the side of my jet ski. So, the game plan is, you see how it has this mounting switch that goes around a tower? Well, I'm simply just going to hook that to right here on the ski and then this clamp is going to go on the back side and hold it and if it's too flimsy i'm going to get a big piece of sheet metal thin sheet metal and put it on the back side of this the strength in it and to hold it in place which that will definitely do the trick but i think this is going to be plenty and so i actually had to take this whole thing off the jet ski just so i could get to the back side of this because if you come over here, it looks so goofy. You had to take so much off. I had to take the handlebars and all the connections off and cage. <laughs> it's just all sitting here. Because I thought I could just go from in here and hook it up to the backside. But as you can see, the navy's right here and there's no way to get to it because of the hole is in your way right here. So, yeah. I took it off and I have two mounting points here and here. And then this big thing, but this is so slim that it fits perfectly right like this. So it's going to go in between the two mounting points and it's going to not hit this. It's going to be right, um, right before it. So I'm going to go ahead and start drilling my holes into this and we'll see what they look like. I'm super excited to see that. And then I'll quickly throw everything back together and run my wires. So now it is quite a bit later. As you can see, I got both speakers mounted on the side. They look insanely sweet. <laughs> they're, 
they're huge for the jet ski, but I think it'll be cool um, with the sound quality that they'll put out. But uh, you can see I got the wires just ran through the back right here, and I'm going to tuck them and everything. But first, I need to lay this blue piece back on the jet ski. <laughs> so we got our torn apart jet ski over there, and uh, I'm going to go set it on. Okay, guys. So an update. I got the radio up and on. I have both of these speakers mounted up in their spots where they go. I don't have the LEDs hooked up to them yet, but then I have jerry-rigged these ones up just right here. So this radio is now going to fire up and play all four speakers. I don't know if I'm going to throw these in because this surface that I want to mount them to right here is not very flat. And I don't want to put them here because I think that's an odd placement. I think I'd like them more back here. So I think I'm going to get some 3D printed pucks that I can shave to the contour of this and then still have a flat mounting surface for the speakers. So that's going to require a little bit more time. So to do the job right, I'm not going to throw them in yet. But man, let me tell you, does it sound good with all four speakers hooked up? So uh, here's a little sneak peek. And if I don't put this clip in, um, I'll cut to a different sound audio because this one might have copyright. I'm doing a little test right now. I'm posting a little clip to see how it reacts because I pay for this subscription, but um, I've never played it from like my phone. I've always downloaded it to my computer and used it in my editing software. So we'll see what happens. So here it is. Let me know what you think. Four speakers are all hooked up, playing at volume 35 out of 40 so we're pretty much maxed out we got it using all four channels to the radio amplifier right here Skippy. Let's see if I can find a different one. So yeah, you can see that's pretty crazy output that this little uh, radio does right here. I'll be leaving links to all these in the description. They're all Rockville stuff, so it's all really affordable. And the quality, honestly, is surprisingly pretty good. I like it a lot. But um, yeah, these, these all light up blue. These light up blue. So it's going to look really cool out on the water. And when I get my jet ski painted black, everything will really pop. That's why I went with black ones right here. Because eventually my jet ski will be black, so they won't stick out as much when it is that. But right now it's white, and so I got these, but um, they came with um, black skins that I'll swap on when my jet ski's black. But uh, yeah, I'm going to get all this rebuttoned up because, as you can see, I don't have anything on, and we got to go to the lake tomorrow. So I'm just going to rebutton it up with just the front speakers and... Uh, not the rear ones in quite yet. I'll do those properly. But yeah, let's start reassembling the jet ski. Okay, after that little sound test that we just played, I actually went and bought a hole saw and we're just gonna be cutting out this. So my reason why I didn't want to do it earlier was because it's a curved surface and the speaker would have so much gap. But I went out and I bought some PVC board. It's literally a fishing board. Come over here and check it out. Oh, what happened to the board? Oh, it's behind here. Oh, jeez. 
So right here is my plastic board that I got from the store. So they have thinner, like plywood size plastic boards, but I got this, which is actually a fascia piece for like a porch or something on a house. And it was a lot thicker than the plywood piece. And uh, yeah, I just used it to cut these little circles out. And if we go over to, back over to the jet ski, You'll see right here, my board I have, I have one side that's completely flat, and then this side right here, it's nice and uh, beveled and everything to the shape of the jet ski. So I have a marking on the side. If I was to line that up right here with the ground, as you can see, speaker has a nice flat area of the mount. And if you look right here, show them the back side. As you can see, there is no gap. So it's a nice, clean, flesh finish. And I just used my grinder over there in the corner to uh, accomplish that. So now we're going to be using this huge hole saw a bit to um, cut this out. So I put tape over it so the gel coat can kind of like not get destroyed, even though this is probably going to destroy it, but it's the thought that counts. So I'm just going to line that up close enough, close enough. Okay. Here goes nothing. Oh boy. This is going to be a lot harder than I thought. Okay, <laughs> we got a huge hole in my jet ski. Perfect. <laughs> Let's hope I cut it right. Definitely gonna throw on a mask and some safety glasses because you don't want to be breathing in fiberglass. So now let's do a little test fit and see how we do. So I'll throw the speaker down in our, our template piece. I want to make sure I'm not crushing anything. Let me just look. Got this one. Might have to widen the hold to this just a little bit. It's a little bit of a snug fit. So I'm going to do that real quick. Or actually, no, I just wedged up. We're good, we're good. Okay, so I got this nice and flush. It's a snug, snug fit. See where my marking is? There it is. Boom. Look at that. So now you can see that huge gap is no longer there thanks to my plywood. So this is a factory. This looks so good. Oh my gosh. So now we just got to get my sealer and seal it all up. So she looks all pretty, but first we got to take off that um, painter's tape. But yeah, super stoked with this clean quality. Okay, so I was getting ready to edit this video. And as I was viewing all the video clips before putting them in my editor software, I was like, man, I feel like I got a lot less than what I filmed. So there's some areas where it's not really well filled in. So I'm just going to cut in here and uh, add in some contents because it just ends off weird. And I'm like looking at the, all these clips. And I'm like, man, I swear I have like way more I filmed, but I don't know where they went. So... Here's the jet ski after putting those pucks in. As you can see, I've gone out to like about maybe five times with these or so. So they've been out a lot. And as you can see, the, the, the fitment is very flush and it's awesome. 
this tape was for a wakeboard to keep it from rubbing my gel coat, but it still kind of just failed. But, um, yeah, I put a uh, marine silicone between all the, the layers, and my screws are getting rusty, though, so I'm going to have to swap those out for some stainless ones whenever I switch the covers over when I paint my jet ski. But as you can see, it looks really nice on this side as well. Coming around to the other side, same deal. It looks amazing. They work really well. I love them. Perfect on that side. The fronts work good. The radio still works. I got watermarks on it. I need to wipe this off after I use it. Sometimes I get in a rush to get home. But, um, yeah. Oh, look. I got my stickers on now. I don't know if I'm allowed to show I don't care. But, um, super stoked. No longer have to use my temporary registration. I got real registration now. And, yeah. So, this was really fun to do. It looks insanely sweet from this perspective. So I didn't really show much on how it's run, but I bet a lot of you guys are pretty interested in this. This will literally work on any jet ski. It doesn't have to be a Yamaha VX110. So what I did here was down at the battery, I have, as you can see, the white wire right there. I have it going to my positive and negative, and it runs down through there along the power wire of the jet ski. I just ran all the, the wires with this red power wire all the way up into the front and up in here behind this board there's a rubber grommet that like the speedometer uh, wire harness goes through and everything to get down into here so up into there way up in the front there's the wiring harnesses from all the stuff up on the gauges that go down through this blue plastic and then there's a hole in the fiberglass with a grommet that they all slide through so all these little white wires are ran through that grommet up in the front literally right behind this black thing up in here so that's where i ran them through i didn't drill any holes through the gel coat up in here so that's all still nice and watertight around all the electronics in there and obviously for these two back speakers I had to run the little speaker wires a little positive and negative so on the back side of here I'll pull it out so you can see it but the radio right here comes with this plug and so you got ground you got the yellow being the the 12 volt uh, power at all times and then the red is the ACC and then the blue is a remote wire and then on the other side is all your colors so white is for one speaker gray is for one speaker greens for one speaker and purples for one speaker so I simply on the other end of this plug just had a whole bunch of empty connectors so I put little female ends on them and then I put male ends on these wires and I hooked them to my diagram in the instructions of right rear, left rear to these wires and ran them up through the grommet and down along the power wire and just hooked them in right here towards the back. I haven't heat strength them down yet, but um, they turned out super nice. And that's how I ran those. And then the front ones, of course, were just already up here in the blue part. So there's just a short wire running through to right here. And then one over there that runs across and through so it's not hard to do at all and then inside here i got two blue switches you can see right here that i drilled into the side and if you look up and in you can see the connection so one of them i have connected up and one i don't so there's two negatives one is for um no there's two positives and one negative so the negative is for the illumination of the switch and then obviously the two positives just go on to the switch side so you got 12 volts going in but it doesn't come out until you turn the switch on so uh yeah so as you can see i flip it now it's on and that will turn my radio on so when i flip that switch my radio is now on but i can also turn my radio off right here and then turn it off right here so I hooked, I hooked my red ACC wire up to there. If you look back in here again at this hooked up to the battery, I have this ran all the way to the front 
and at the front where it comes in I should have showed you this guys well I had it all apart okay you can see that right here where it comes in there's the white wire I'm pulling it you see I'm wiggling it it splits off into two red powers and two negatives so the negative wire the black one one of them goes straight to the plug and then one of the power wires which is one of these red ones goes straight to the plug and then one of these power wires goes up to my switch which then is up there so one of those red ones is hooked to the battery and then the other red one goes to the red wire which is the ACC power wire so basically with the ACC wire going up to the switch I'm basically manually turning on and off the radio ACC wise so it's kind of less of like a key ignition it's just more of just a switch just so I can control it and shut it off so it doesn't drain my battery when I am not using it so yeah so as you can see at the plug basically this one is hooked up to direct power that one is hooked up to the switch which is hooked up to direct power and then the negative right here is just hooked up to one of the negatives that comes straight from the battery and then the other negative wire was the one that went up for the light on the switch because these switches do light up and um, you need to hook it up to negative so there's a little rundown on that so I absolutely enjoy this I do plan on throwing an amplifier in because these speakers are rated at 150 RMS and the fronts I think are rated at 175 RMS I can't remember exactly but they're they're significantly more than what this can output and so each channel on here can put 28 RMS out so those video clips you're listening to was each speaker only having 28 RMS so imagine if you get a four channel amplifier and I was to put it somewhere back in here against this board how uh how much more loud these speakers would be if you were pushing 150 RMS versus 28 RMS. And my mom's talking to me. So that is going to be it for this video, guys. I hope you really enjoyed it. It was a really fun project. I'll do a price breakdown video next on it so you guys can get an idea of how much this would cost because I got to add it all up. But uh, I brought it out to like like five times since I've uh, put it on. And uh I really enjoy it. It's amazing. I, I do plan on doing a four channel amp though next spring, but for what that radio does, it's insane and it's awesome. I just want it to be even more obnoxious because why not? But uh, yeah, as you can see, the garage is pretty packed. We got my four wheeler. This is a customer's four wheeler. I'm fixing it for him. And then we got the Mustang in the garage. How dope is that? But I had to take all that stuff down off the ceiling. So it's lying on my car right now. Don't worry, the paint's not that pretty. And I'm not destroying it. But uh, yeah, we got this place packed full. But um, also, big, big video coming soon on something huge. You guys are going to love this. So subscribe if you haven't. 96 of you aren't subscribed. So if you're watching till this point, just subscribe. Trust me, I got a lot in store for this channel. So uh, yeah, leave a like. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. Peace out. Bye.